CNN, more than 5 million people are under tornado watches across the southeast, in many of the same places that suffered deadly storms last week. A line of storms moved east across the south overnight putting areas including Tallahassee and Panama City, Florida, Albany, Georgia, and Dothan, Alabama under a tornado watch Monday morning. That watch means conditions are favorable for tornadoes and severe thunderstorms, CNN meteorologist Haley Brink said. The greatest dangers are the damaging winds the storms will bring, but a few, potentially strong and intense, tornadoes are possible. One of those strong and potentially large tornadoes tracked just south of Hattiesburg, Mississippi, Sunday night. The Hattiesburg Police Department said on Twitter that the area saw trees downed and vehicles flooded in the wake of the storm. At least 11 people were killed in last week's storms in Mississippi. Over the course of Monday, the storms will continue east and move north to Virginia, and an area including the east coast of Georgia, South Carolina and North Carolina will be under severe storms. Fortunately, the threat to the U.S. will likely be over by the afternoon hours, Brink said, as the storm is expected to move offshore and into the Atlantic. The damage already done. But the storm already had an impact Sunday. Nearly 90,000 customers were without power Monday morning across Mississippi, Alabama and Georgia, according to PowerOutage.us. One Twitter user showed large hail pelting Fort Worth, Texas Sunday. In Alabama, Shayna Scott of Alexander City said the hail had pelted holes in the side of her house. It was quick, just 20 to 30 minutes, but it was unlike anything Scott had ever experienced, she told CNN. She now has holes in the side of her house, she said. Shayna Scott said the hail had punctured holes in the side of her house in Alexander City, Alabama, on Sunday, April 19, 2020. Johnette Lamborn told CNN her family is safe but that the hail damaged her home, car and storage shed. Johnette Lamborn said the storm caused damage to her home, car and storage shed in Alexander City, Alabama, on Sunday. This time of the year is primed for storms like these, CNN meteorologist Brandon Miller said. While unusual to see nearly identical-looking threats exactly one week apart, this is the peak time of year for severe weather and tornadoes across the southern U.S., especially in the area called Dixie Alley, Miller said. Recovering from last week. This system is similar to the one that struck the region last week. No two weather patterns are ever the same, but these are very similar, said CNN meteorologist Jean Norman. However, this week does have some differences including a jet stream that is further south. More than 40 tornadoes spanned more than 1,200 miles from Texas to South Carolina just last week. The storm system caused the deaths of at least 32 people and destroyed homes before moving to the east coast. The storms fell over the Easter holiday and in the midst of the coronavirus pandemic. Many were left with the decision to follow social distancing protocols or shelter safely from the storms. And once they had passed, some didn't have their homes left to shelter in. Homes destroyed in the storms won't be habitable anytime soon, Louisiana Governor John Bell Edwards said after visiting the damage. Last week, the storms killed at least 11 people in Mississippi, 9 in South Carolina, 8 in Georgia, 2 in Tennessee, 1 in Arkansas and 1 in North Carolina. Georgia, South Carolina and North Carolina are all still in the path of this week's storms.